People like to joke that the only thing you really learn in school is how to memorize. As it turns out, that's not even the case for most of us. If you go around the room and ask a handful of people how to memorize things quickly and how to remember things, most of them will probably tell you that the key is repetition. However, if you were to talk to memory athletes, you would learn that that advice is not pointing you in the right direction. If you want to memorize something quickly and thoroughly, repetition won't cut it, however, recalling something will. The problem is that recalling something requires paying attention and learning, and we all learn in different ways. So, how can you memorize something fast? In this video, you will learn memory techniques to master the art of recalling, so that you can start memorizing a ton of data in a short amount of time. But first, if this is your first time in Recite channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell, so you're aware whenever we have uploaded a new video. 1. Prepare. To optimize your memorization session and learn how to memorize something fast, pay close attention to which environment you choose. For most people, this means choosing an area with few distractions, though some people do thrive off of learning in public areas. Figure out what is most conducive to your learning so that you can get started. Next, start drinking some tea. I could link you to mounds of scientific studies that confirm green tea is a natural catalyst for improving memory. Mechanically speaking, our ability to recall information comes down to the strength between neurons in our mind, which are connected by synapses. The more you exercise the synapse, the stronger it is, resulting in the ability to memorize. As we get older toxic chemicals will damage our neurons and synapses, leading to memory loss and even Alzheimer's. Green tea contains compounds that block this toxicity and keep your brain cells working properly a lot longer. 2. Record what you're memorizing. This is especially useful if you're trying to memorize information from a lecture. Use a tape recorder to track all of the acquired facts being spoken and listen to it. If you're doing something more complicated, like learning a foreign language, it may be useful to make note cards of the new words you're trying to memorize. If you're trying to memorize a speech, record yourself reading the speech aloud and listen to yourself speaking. Obviously, this is most helpful for auditory learners, but it's also handy because it ensures that you're getting more context from a lecture that will help you learn the information faster. 3. Write everything down. Before you start trying to recall everything from memory, write and rewrite the information. This will help you become more familiar with what you're trying to memorize. Of course, we said that repetition isn't always the best way to memorize something, but this can be great for visual learners as you'll be able to see the information in front of you. 4. Use the memory palace technique. A great way to section off information is through the memory palace technique. This is especially good for visual learners, but it can also work as a sort of experience for experiential learners, and if you say the path out loud, it can work for auditory learners as well. There are several steps to this technique, but it basically involves choosing a place you know well, identifying its distinctive features, and using those features to store bits of information you want to remember. For example, if you're working on learning how to memorize lines, you can find a place in your memory palace for each line of text, and as you're reciting them when the time comes, you'll simply have to walk through the room to pick up each line of text in the correct order. When everything has its place, it'll be waiting for you to retrieve it. 5. Apply repetition to cumulative memorization. For each line of text, repeat it a few times and try to recall it without looking. As you memorize each set of text, be cumulative by adding the new information to what you've just learned. This will keep everything within your short-term memory from fading. How does this work? It's actually related to two distinct modes of brain functioning, System 1 and System 2. You can take a look at how these systems work if you want to improve your memory. Keep doing this until you have memorized that section and are able to recall the entire thing. Do not move on to another section until you have memorized that one completely. This is mostly visual learning, but if you are speaking aloud, then you are also applying auditory. 6. Relate new things to what you already know. According to the Loma Linda University School of Medicine, a great brain-based technique for memory retention is to relate new information to what you already know. For example, if you are learning about Romeo and Juliet, you might associate what you learn about the play with prior knowledge you have about Shakespeare, the historical period in which the author lived and other relevant information. 
7. Stay away from multitasking. In our technology-driven world, we often mindlessly pick up our smartphones to answer a text or check a social media feed while we're in the middle of another task. In some situations, the ability to multitask can prove handy, but when it comes to learning a new skill or memorizing information, it's best to focus on that one thing. A study published in the Journal of Experimental Psychology, Human Perception and Performance suggests that multitasking undermines our efficiency, particularly for complicated or unfamiliar tasks, since it takes extra time to shift mental gears each time an individual shifts between multiple tasks. 8. Teach other people what you've learned. Sharing your newly learned skills or knowledge is an efficient way to further solidify the new information in your brain, according to Loma Linda University. The process of translating the information into your own words helps your brain better understand it, and there are a number of innovative ways to break something down to teach it to others. It's a win-win for everyone. Thanks for watching, and we hope you liked the video. Tell us in the comments which method do you think works better to improve memorization.